Melody. So today I'm at Siling, which is the most popular night market in Taiwan. Right now there's not too many people, but usually it's packed. Like normally you're shoulder to shoulder with the person next to you. And I'm super excited because I haven't been here in so long. They have clothes and hats and watches and jewelry and so much food. Like so much food. So I guess I'll take you guys along with me on this shopping trip and let's go on and see what I get. Siling Night Market is located in Taipei and it is the biggest and most popular night market in Taiwan. The nightlife in Taiwan is crazy and everybody just comes out to walk around and hang out because places are open until 12 a.m. And lots of, floor, lots of foreigners also come to Siling too because it's one of those places you have to stop by when you're in Taiwan. Okay, so you see these shops in the middle of the street? Well, they're illegal, and that's why you see all the owners looking at one side. They're looking for cops, and if somebody sees a cop, they will blow a whistle, and you see all of them just pack up and scramble away like chickens with their heads cut off. It's pretty funny. I wish I got it on tape so that I could show you guys. This jewelry shop was one of me and my sister's favorite places to come to. They have so many cute bracelets and necklaces. So this store used to be my favorite store at Siling. When I was here two years ago, I got so much stuff. They had dresses, heels, crop tops, skirts, and tons more. I was so excited, but I don't know why this year they didn't have a lot of stuff that I liked. I was a little disappointed. I was also really excited to go into this store because there were so many dresses. Just look at those. But when I started taking them out to look, I realized they were so small. And the other sucky part is, they only have one size. Like, what the hell, do they think all girls are size zero? And then I came into this store because the mannequin was wearing a really cute pink top and I saw it so it came in. But then I realized they also had a white one and indecisive old me again couldn't decide so I had to ask my sister for her opinion. Go with your heart. So Alright, if I say to get one then you'll know. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and look at all those chokers. They were all so cute and I wanted to get them, but unfortunately I didn't get any because I wanted to save money to get other stuff. But now looking back, I really liked that one, but hey, I can DIY it. Wait, normally I would never go for this, but I don't know, I kind of feel it and I kind of want to try it on. I think it's really Asian, but I don't know. That's really cute, let's try it. It might work. What's your outfit right now? Turns out I really like those sandals and they were only $10 so I definitely picked that up. So I'm at a boy store right now but they have a lot of food stuff. So I'm just looking to see what I can share. So I also saw the girl mannequin wearing this shirt with a black sweater and I thought it was super cute so I wanted to try it on but at the end I did not actually get this outfit. Super cute though. romper was actually an accident kind of. I saw it when I was leaving the store but right when I saw it I was like no I need to go back and buy that. They also steam it for you before so that's really nice as well. And in between shopping me and my sister got a little hungry so we stopped at the most popular shaped ice place in Siling and it's so popular that you have to sit with strangers because there's not enough tables. 
but me and my sister got the mango snow ice and a honey aloe snow ice. It was so good. And then I had to look for some clothes for my boyfriend and me being indecisive again, I could not decide which one to get him. But hey, in the end, I figured it out, okay? This alley is all big, so my Thank you guys so much for joining me on this shopping trip.